Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. It is officially the end of the month. I cannot believe how quick the month of July went. But even though it's the end of the month, it is still officially Leo season. And I want to thank everybody for all the wonderful birthday wishes and messages and everything else. I had a good time playing Barbie yesterday and wearing my little pink dress on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for the love. Because rarely do I ever post pictures of myself because I just don't like to. So I'd rather not post any pictures of myself. But it was my birthday weekend, so I had to go there, okay? But anyhow... I am here to spill the tea. We're going to go ahead and talk and get into it. So a lot of stuff has been going on, um, and we got to talk about Cardi B. Now, y'all know I fucks with Cardi, honey. I am a Barty gang member. Okay, I love me some Cardi, but one thing I am not, I'm not on nobody's payroll, okay? So, um, you know, I didn't get to really pay too much attention to the story like that because, you know, it's my birthday weekend, so I was, you know, celebrating myself. But, um... There was a video that went viral of Cardi B. Somebody threw water at her. And Cardi B literally chucked a microphone at a woman and hit her. And I saw so many people on social media rejoicing. Uh Uh-huh. Y'all forget, she's from the Bronx. She's from the Bronx. You don't fuck with Big Barty. And a lot of people were really clapping and celebrating this. And um, I wasn't. We were talking about this in my Telegraph group, and I was saying she better hope she don't get charged and she doesn't get sued, okay? And let me go ahead and show y'all some receipts, because then I woke up this morning and Malachi, who was in my conspiracy Telegraph group, says, T, you called it, okay? So we were having this conversation, me and my Telegraph peoples, okay? And... My issue, I caught this yesterday because I felt like somebody throwing water at you does not equate to a microphone being thrown. And I don't know, you know, I'm sure a lot of y'all don't have dealings with microphones, you know, unless you podcast or you're a singer. But microphones are very damn heavy and they can cause damage, especially when being chucked from quite a bit of distance. Okay, first and foremost, when you have things to lose, you don't engage. I'm not saying I agree with fans throwing stuff and acting a fool because we've had a, we've had a lot of numerous cases of fans throwing things at celebrities. Let's not forget that recently Harry Styles was hit in the face with an object in um, in Vienna. Let's go ahead and watch that real quick. <laughs> All right, y'all just saw Harry Styles getting hit. And then we also had a very disturbing case that we had posted a few weeks ago of BB Rexa getting hit in the face with a flying cell phone. And she got a lot of damage um, to her eye and her eyebrow, which is just really unfortunate. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip. As Rexa made her way down the stage, a concert goer threw a cell phone from the audience, hitting her in the face. You can see in the video Rexa falling to her knees, crew members rushing in to help. She was escorted off the stage. Her mother reportedly saying she had to get stitches. 27-year-old Nicholas Malvagna of New Jersey was charged with assault for throwing the phone. Now, fans of the Grammy-nominated Meant to Be singer took to Twitter to show their support. Quote, we were all having a good time. I mean, who would even do that? We hope you're okay. All right. So you guys just saw that clip. Now, what I did not notice or see in both clips is either BB or Harry running off the stage, jumping on the stage, throwing a microphone, They took those hits on the chin or the eye, I guess I should say, and they let security handle it. Now, I get it. We're all human. We all have emotions. We all feel a way. But again, once you get to a certain level, you have to act like you're at that level. You mean to tell me you don't think Harry was man enough 
at 29 years old at his big age to jump in the crowd and knock some heads? I think he could, regardless if he was wearing a dress or not. I think he could have knocked some heads. Because you throw something in somebody's face, they're ready to fight. But again, once you get to a certain level, cooler heads have to prevail. So I didn't agree with it. And I was saying this in Telegraph yesterday, like that wasn't the way to handle it. Because at the end of the day, it was water. And let's keep it real. We don't even know she hit the right person. Because again, even though somebody pointed and said it was this girl who did it. We don't know if the person pointing could have been the real perpetrator. We don't know. But she chose to throw the microphone and it, you know, it hit this young woman in the head. And now on TMZ, it is stating here that Cardi B is now a suspect for battery after Mike Toss in Las Vegas. So this is what they're reporting. They're saying Cardi B might not get away scot-free with that microphone toss in Las Vegas. She's now listed as a suspect in a battery. The woman who was struck by Cardi B's mic when she hurled it into the crowd at Drea's nightclub on Saturday went to the Las Vegas Metro PD the next day to report the incident. She told the police that she had been struck by an item. The microphone was thrown from the stage, of course, and the whole incident was captured on camera during the show. As we reported, the woman in the crowd threw some type of liquid at Cardi while she was performing and the rapper snapped and immediately threw the microphone in retaliation. Okay. And then today, more, sto- more of the story came out and Cardi was literally on stage asking fans to throw water at her, get her coochie wet and all types of stuff. And people were throwing water at her and she was enjoying it. Then this lady did it, but I guess she didn't hit Cardi's body. She hit her more towards the face and reacting Cardi through the microphone at her. And you can see the lady immediately apologizing and saying sorry. So I want you guys to watch these clips. Splash her down. Get us water. Splash her the fuck down. Woo! That shit feel good. Put that shit in my pussy, bitch. Come on. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Sexy lady, you let me hear you say, ah. I don't dance now. I mean, Thank you, everybody. Yeah. I just passed my pussy, not my face, bitch. I'm gonna go over there and party with y'all. Let's go. All right, so you guys just saw the clips. So now a lot of people who were encouraging this behavior yesterday are not changing their tune and saying that, oh my gosh, she told them to get get her wet. That was wrong. She shouldn't have did this. Regardless if she told them to get her wet or not, she shouldn't have threw the microphone. That is not an appropriate response to liquid. It's just not. And my thing is, why even encourage people to throw things at you? Because, again, you're saying, yeah, get me wet. You don't know what's in that cup. It could be water. It could be vodka. It could hit your body or it could hit your face. So let's not invite people to get us wet. She's performing on stage. She easily, and I think she had a water bottle on stage, if I'm not mistaken. She had a water bottle. Get yourself wet. Don't ask the crowd to throw things at you because then you're giving people the go-ahead to throw things at you, you know, and they may miss. I'm sure she wasn't aiming for Cardi's face, but as soon as Cardi turned, she ended up hitting her face, and you could tell it was an accident. I'm sure this lady may end up, you know, suing or something, you know, who knows. But the point is this. When you have things to lose, when you are a celebrity, and when you're under the microscope, you have to move accordingly. And I don't know what's going on with my good sis, but... These tantrums, these tirades, going back and forth with the fans, it's not a good look. These are people who are coming out to support you, who love you, who love your music, who spent good money, and they're there to enjoy themselves. And this whole situation could have been prevented by not asking anybody to throw water, by just performing. But let's also not forget, the night before, she also chucked a microphone at a DJ. She was upset because the DJ kept, you know, turning off the backtrack. 
Um, and I, what's funny enough, I was talking about this on my live stream on, what was that, when I went live on Friday, about how a lot of rappers now, they're not really putting on a show. They're just rapping and walking back and forth across the stage with their backtrack, you know, and they're not even using their words. Not saying that she's not, but you have a lot of rappers who do that, hence why a lot of rap concerts are being canceled. People are not speaking with their dollars. They're not going to be paying money for rappers to be late for them to be berated, for rappers to not even, you know, give it their all, giving lackluster performances, hence why Little Dirk and Little Baby, their concerts have been getting canceled left and right. So anyhow, Cardi B's performing, the DJ keeps cutting off the music to hear her, you know, her rapping, her vocals, and she's getting annoyed. I guess he cut it off at too many different parts, I'm not sure. Um, and near the end, she gets really pissed and she throws the microphone at the DJ. This was the day before the incident with the girl. So y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so y'all just saw that incident with the DJ. And my thing is, when you are a queen, when you are a queen, you never step off your throne. She could have been as pissed off at that DJ, and she has every right to be, because maybe he was trying to expose her or show that, you know, it was her backtrack. I don't know why he kept pausing and stopping the music. I get her being upset if that's how she felt. But you don't let the crowd see you get upset. That is something you handle behind the stage. Once you get to a certain level of celebrity, she has enough power in the industry where that DJ will never be able to DJ again in Las Vegas, to be honest with you. That's how some celebrities get down. You fuck with the right celebrities, it can make or break your entire DJing career. Okay? So she really should have handled that behind the scenes, cussed him out, went off on him, whatever. But to throw the mic, it's on film. It just looks bad. And now you're giving all your haters, you know, the, the, the fan group that hates you the most, you're giving them ammo. Now they're comparing you to Millie Vanilli. TMZ has a Millie Vanilli article up. I mean, it's just insane. And this is why you have to watch how you move once you get to a certain space. Are celebrities humans? Absolutely they are. Do they have breaking points? Absolutely they do. Is Cardi maybe under a lot of pressure because everybody keeps screaming, where's your second album? I'm sure she is. But once you get to a certain level, no excuses. You have to move accordingly. Like I said, you think Harry Styles and BB didn't want to wreck shop when they were hit even more viciously than Cardi? Cardi got water thrown at her. They got object th thrown in their faces. And they didn't even behave that way. You can't do it. You can't put yourself in a situation where you can get in trouble because you don't want to control your actions. Now, throwing shoes might have been cute on Love & Hip Hop, even though I don't think that was cute. But, you know, she got a lot of praises for that back in the day. You know, the drama with the girl. And she threw the shoe. We're, we expect to see ratchet shit like that on Love & Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? People fighting, acting a fool. That is the Love & Hip Hop brand. But Cardi, you're no longer that girl from Love and Hip Hop. You are a global brand. And suddenly Cardi B is in the Grand Palais, clad in full Chanel tweed, total look, a reminiscence of what Jacques de Bacher liked to wear for his ski holidays. You have worn dresses for some of the biggest designers out there. So you can't go back to that Love and Hip Hop level. Not behind a cup of water. Not after you ask the crowd to get you wet. So yeah, like I said, I don't agree with it. I didn't agree with it. Even if she asked the crowd to get her wet. Um, even if the video of her asking the crowd to get her wet never came out. I never agreed with her hitting someone with the microphone. Cardi needs to remember how far she's come. And really appreciate that. And stop allowing situations to take her backwards. Because none of this is a good look. Like I said, this story is now viral. The mainstream is covering it. And it's just making her look bad. And she doesn't need any negative press. Especially with the stress of working on a potential second album. She doesn't need the negativity. But she also has to be able to control her emotions. Period. 
there's no excuse. At the end of the day, when you are a global brand, you have to act accordingly. You can't switch up and turn into a Bronx Cardi at the drop of a dime. So she has to remember that, you know, you chose this life. You were blessed to get this life. You're now a global celebrity. You're now a global brand. And as hard as it can be, as much as you want to prove your point, sometimes you have to let things go and allow security to handle it. Because as she done that, and you just let security handle it instead of you throwing the microphone, we wouldn't be here. That is security's job for them to handle it. So when you have things to lose, you need to make sure that you protect your assets, your brand, and your name. Because remember, back in the day, Rick Ross had a lot more to lose than Vlad TV. Vlad was really like a, you know, basement DJ. You know, and Rick Ross felt a way about some things that he had said. And so, reacting on ego, Rick Ross and his boys, they jumped Vlad. They beat him really badly. Vlad ended up suing Rick Ross, and he won. Again, Rick Ross lost millions of dollars due to not having any emotional self-control. And now we fast forward, what, 15 plus years, Vlad, who is a white man from Russia, he has the biggest hip-hop media platform. All because Rick Ross didn't have emotional self-control. And I'm just going to leave it right there. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I want to know what y'all think about this entire situation concerning Cardi B and this whole microphone debacle. And how do you guys feel about, you know, what is going on with Cardi as of late? She just seems to kind of be on edge. She's been going off a lot. You know, I hope whatever she's going through, she gets over it. But she also needs to understand that, you know, when you behave in certain ways, there will be consequences for your actions. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.